big game of the day, Christmas Eve, Cowboys at the Dolphins, after getting blown off the field in Buffalo 31-10, to and it felt like it wasn't even that close. The Cowboys go to Miami, where the Dolphins finally get, maybe, a pelt on the wall against a good team. That's been the narrative all year. Beat the bad teams, lose to the good teams. The only time they've broken that character is when they lost to the Titans a couple of weeks ago. This is a huge one. And a lot of it comes down to whether or not Tyreek Hill can play. I'm told it's likely he'll play. I don't know how effective he'll be, but I'm told it's likely he'll play. I was told that on Sunday. I don't know where it stands currently. We'll get it updated by the weekend. The Dolphins are favored by one and a half over under a 50. That's the highest over under of the week. Chris, you you rode with the Cowboys last week, and they screwed you. Are you going to double down with Big D, or are you going to abandon them for the Dolphins? No, I'm 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 not. I'm abandoning with the with the Big D abandonment with the big capital D in the middle there. Yeah, I I am. I I first off, I you know I've thought a lot about the Dolphins this week because I've kind of just been racking my brain because I you know I'm starting to have people on radio and I know we'll have to talk about it this weekend about who's the team you look at in the AFC that. You know, we'll play the 49ers in the Super Bowl as it stands right now. And the more and more I think about it, the more and more I feel like I'm trending towards the Miami Dolphins. You know, one, hey, they're, wow. yeah, their defense, the way it's playing, the way it continues to get better here, I think they're a pain in the ass. I do. And, you know, when in this matchup just all together, yeah, you've heard me say this before, Dallas, the, the, the offensive attack is not overly creative. It's aggressive, and that's that's been enough against the middle class and the lower class. But like we saw last week, aggressive isn't good enough against a good coach and a good defense. I don't think aggressive, plain aggressive, simple aggressive is not going to be good enough for Vic Fangio. And then Dallas, what I worry about with them is they want to play man, but can you really play a ton of man against this group? I don't really know about that. I don't think they can. And if they play zone, they're not that good at it. They're going to get picked apart. I'm going to go with the Dolphins here, 31-24. The odd thing is neither team is very good at red zone defense or goal-to-go defense, and I think both teams will get down there, and when they get in there, they're going to score touchdowns, 31-24 Dolphins. I got 27-24 Dolphins, and look, I think the Cowboys will play better than they did last week. They'll take it as a challenge. They don't understand why they can't win on the road. Michael Parsons was talking about that this week. But this this is the ultimate test for the Dolphins. This is it. And they're trying to hold off the Bills. At some level, the Cowboys have to have gotten the memo that the chances of them winning the division are pretty damn slim when you look at the Eagles facing Giants, Cardinals, Giants. Cowboys have to run the table and hope the Eagles slip up in one of those three games. I just think it's too much to ask for. You get them out of Dallas. They're a different team. The Dolphins really, really need this one. I, I could see it go the other way, but... After what the Cowboys did on Sunday, I just think that's a lot to fix in only one week. And the Dolphins flying higher at this point. They get the win, 27-24. Not going to be a best bet, though, because I could see that game going the other way. All right. Christmas flying league, higher. Wait, and just one thing. Game. Flying higher, too. And, you know, to, to something you brought up, right, about, hey, I mean, there's a good chance they could be back at the number one seed this weekend. They win this game. Baltimore loses to the 49ers. They play Baltimore next week, right? So there's some really big-time motivation uh, for Miami on a lot of different levels here. And I think Mike McDaniel really using what happened against the Titans on that Monday night as a way to just kind of, you know, poke and prod his Dolphins players to to, – perform at a higher level overall yo yo what up homies thanks for watching remember subscribe to chris sims on button right now we got sunday pod right so you can have it monday morning we recap all the action wednesday it's the what the f- happened podcast we're gonna get deep in the weeds on the key matchups of the week and then thursday i'm picking games with that jerk florio so you know where to find us homies keep watching peace out we'll see you